Hello, my loves. Welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel and Bahati Life podcast. My name is Jessica Alexandria for meeting for the first time. It feels really good to be able to sit, pull cards, and pull charts for you to see what this week has in store for each of us, the general messages and things that is that we need to receive. Right away, I can tell that this week is going to be another one that is going to require a lot of flexibility as spirit, as the planets, as the cosmos are working to shift us into the position that is for our highest and greatest good. One thing that was coming through to me during my meditation before while I was getting started, and I did share a little bit of it with you guys on my Instagram channel or on my Instagram, in my stories where I was just chilling and vibing outside underneath this beautiful flowering tree, hanging out with my chickens, the goats, the clouds, the sun, the breeze, all of it. It was so beautiful. But one thing that was really coming through was this message of really allowing ourselves to go with the flow here. And what I feel with this is a massive perspective shift that has already been happening, that has already been occurring. This means that, you know, we have had a certain way of living, looking, and interpret interpreting our world. And spirit is trying to use the planets and to use the energy of the planets in order to shift that perspective so that we're not looking at it through one lens always or through one perspective only. Spirit is really reminding us right now or reminding me to remind you that it sees all we do not see all although we can intuitively pick up on energy changes and energy shifts we can see it but our perception of it is very very limited to what is actually occurring or how all the pieces of the puzzle are falling together and that's where infinite trust has to come forward that's where infinite trust has to step forward we are in the midst of eclipse season so that means that every two weeks we're experiencing some major transition some major readjustments some major reevaluation some breakdowns some breakthroughs and if we are not flexible with that if we are too solid and too solidified and stabilized into a vision or a way of thinking and being and doing we will feel like we are drowning in that. We'll drown we're, that we're drowning in it. That we have, are failing, or that things are falling apart, and that there is no divine order to the divine chaos, to all the chaos that is occurring. And spirit is reminding each of us this week that in everything that has already occurred, in everything that is occurring, in everything that will occur, it has to be and will be for your highest and greatest good. The depth of what is occurring here presently is just so powerful. It's so magnificent and we if we are if we allow ourselves to sit back in our meditation and to allow this energy to flow we will naturally and effortlessly be carried to the shore that we are meant to be at and that is so divine there's this message that's coming through and I know I'm coming through with a sledgehammer you guys know how I am that when I'm channeling messages it just flows with me but there's this message that is coming through that is saying listen you need to know how very much protected you are that even as things are breaking down around you, it is for the sole purpose that we want you to be solidified. We want you to be healthy. We want you to be healed. We want you to be provided for. We want you to be nurtured and nourished. This card just jumped out and wanted me to chase it. Look at that, it's the star card. So there are some things, you guys, that have been ingrained in us, not only in this lifetime, you know, since you were a child or that have occurred during childhood or your teenagehood or your adulthood, this is generational memories that are being reworked and rewired and that can be really tough. You sometimes don't even recognize and will acknowledge, you know, because you don't know how your memories, how your perspective, your thinking is triggered not by your own experiences or the experience of your parents, but those who have come before you. And what spirit is really guiding you to see right now, especially as Uranus is squaring off with Saturn, Saturn is retrograde, Pluto is retrograde, Jupiter is moving through the sign of Pisces, Neptune is moving through the sign of Pisces, Chiron is sitting in the sign of Aries. What these planets are really urging you to understand right now is that there have been situations, circumstances, energies that have 
that you have been embedded in, that you have been implanted in. And it served its purpose because things have to come to a completion. They have to come to a full circle. They have to reveal themselves or reveal the lesson and challenge you so that you're able to un to see the lesson. Well, feel the lesson first, see it, understand it, and transform because of it. This completes the cycle. Again, this is not just what you have attracted into your life. It's where you have been placed. And if it wasn't for these challenges, if it wasn't for the opposition, you would, and I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is a pig card here. I'm working with the Gypsy Witch fortune telling playing cards. But like a pig, you know, not that I'm saying that you're a pig, but because that's not the case. And I'm also in this energy too. I'm with you guys. So we would have accepted whatever it was that we were at as this is it for us. And spirit does not want us to repeat those patterns. Spirit does not want us to accept, accept certain circumstances or certain perspectives or certain truths, things that you think are true, but they're not. Again, your perspective and your vision can only take you so far and spirit is watching from a higher, from a higher perspective, from a different um, vantage point. And it's not, you're not expected to see what spirit sees all the time, but you are guided and encouraged to trust. And if it wasn't for the breakdowns, if it wasn't for the melt, like the, the meltdown, the, the breakthrough, you would have stayed in a situation or stayed in a circumstance and you yourself would not have changed. If it wasn't for the challenge, if it wasn't for the opposition, if it wasn't for the fact that you were being led and guided, almost like sheep and I know that's not a really good metaphor because we don't typically look at sheep as a positive thing we look at it as you know herd mentality but when it comes to spiritual activity when it comes to divine guidance spirit is looking at us like these sheep that it's like we're trying to herd you but you just keep running off you keep panicking and running off and you don't realize that you're running into danger you think that that's safe for you. You think that that's where you belong. You, you think that that's where you should stay because it's your comfort zone. But the reality is, is that it's not safe. And we can see things that you can't. And this week, as the eclipses are occurring, another eclipse is happening in the sign of Gemini, you guys. This Gemini, for those of you guys that don't know, Gemini rules the lover's card within the tarot. And Gemini also rules options and changeability. Our ability to look at different alternatives and consider adapting to them. That is such a blessing, but at the same time, spirit is calling you to be very conscious and aware of exactly what you are okay with adapting to. If it's not from a higher vibration, if it's not from a higher source, it's not acceptable for you to latch on to that, at least not in the divine's eyes, because the divine wants to nur nurture, nourish, and support you. I'm also hearing the message of mistakes. It's by looking at the choices, the decisions, the conversations that you've had in the past that you might be having a different perspective shift now and saying, you know what? If I would have known better, I would have done differently. If I was more comfortable, I would have done this better because this is from a higher vibration. But there was a side of you that was not ready. There was a side of you that was limited. There was a side of you that was underdeveloped. And that's why you chose what you chose. And spirit is entering forward right now and says, give yourself forgiveness, grace, compassion, and kindness, but also give yourself a second, third, fourth, fifth chance. This is where we are invited to adapt again to a higher vibration, not by looking at what we have done and beating ourselves up for the choices that we've made or the things that we've done, but saying, listen, I was truly, I was underdeveloped in this area in my life and I was stuck in survival mode or this is what I believed or this is what I was experiencing or I was limited and this is as far as my ego would allow me to go and that's why we're here where we're at. Mars is entering into the sign of Leo on June 11th and on June 10th, June 10th, the sun conjuncts Mercury who is also retrograde. This represents our ego, our identity. This represents how we think and what we believe about ourselves and what we will accept as truth because we are open to considering it. And as Mars enters into the sign of Leo, this is when the heart, we are really guided to move from a higher, higher heart space that can really question and diminish and call out the ego. The ego is what we think we are, what we, 
who we think we are, what we want people to believe about us, what we want the world, how we want the world to see us. But spirit is really challenging this, especially with Venus squared Chiron on the 12th. Venus represents what we value, what we're attracted to, um, what is valuable to us. It's beauty, aesthetic, and luxury. And with it squaring off with Chiron, we are really truly being uniquely challenged here. We are really being triggered here in some, in many ways, I'm sure, where we say, okay, there are certain things that I've been attracted to, but why? Like, honestly, with the, with the June 10th Gemini solar eclipse, why am I attracted to that? As I'm saying that, I feel spirit is saying, God bless the man or woman or person who has the mind to even ask that question because they are going to transform the most and for their highest and greatest good. Those who cannot simply ask that question, why am I attracted to this? Or those who want an answer force fed to them that they just want to accept it and just be like, that is it, that's status quo. The hurt, the ache, the suffering, and the lack of growth that will that you will lock yourself into is not something that I think that you want. Do you know what I mean by that? Especially with the pig card here, it's what we what we feel so attracted to adjust or to consume, to absorb, to take in, and spirit says as these planets are retrograde currently, I really want you guys, or I really want you to fall into my arms. I just heard the word abrasive. When you fall back into spirit arms, you are moving, you're falling away from abrasive energy into energy that is compassionate, kind and considerate. And then I'm also being called to tell you guys about faith. I'm being called to tell you guys about vision. Exemplary is the word that just came through. Let me look it up for you. Exemplary. Serving as a desirable model, representing the best of its kind. Literally, it is the most ideal, flawless, perfect vision that could ever occur for your life is where spirit is calling you to fall into. However, if you are not open to this core perspective, core value perspective shift that you are being called to at least question and ask yourself, wait, why? It's not a judgment call. You're not going to be harshly punished. In fact, you're punished more, punished by where your life will continue to go or head if you don't ask this question. It's not punishment by, you know, when you ask yourself these questions or ask yourself, why did I do this? Why was I attracted to this in the first place? Why was this okay for me? Why do I feel like this looks like this? Do you know what I mean? These questions go really, really deep. Spirit will continue to return things back in onto your path that are very similar not to test you but to also show you how far you've come where how you are how you have grown where you are growing and literally we have the whip here this is not there to punish and the bear the bear is about strength and the tower card it's not there to isolate you to punish you or to make you feel weak it's to show you how far you have come where you where you are going and to help you to make better choices and decisions because you are aware we have the stair the staircase here we have the fox card reversed we have the clover card upright and the child card so many of you guys are accustomed to very short-lived very short shortly lived experiences that make you feel feel happy that make you feel joyful and that feel fruitful for you when spirit is truly trying to guide you to something that is lasting that has longevity and health and vital that you are able to maintain and that's the thing like there is no compromise that spirit wants for you spirit does not want you to compromise and then as i'm saying that you guys are still expecting to be punished and i understand but 
this isn't meant to punish you. It's meant to show you that the very things that you, we are taking you from or guiding you away from are so beneficial and so positive. Look, you guys, um, the Hawaiian owl, your ancestral spirit guides are offering you guidance now. So pay close attention. Pay close attention to signs and omens from them. Omens, omens, whatever you call it. Peacock, let yourself stand out and be noticed. This brings me back to the ego that I was talking to you guys about. And then the tortoise, you, you're too fragmented, so do whatever it takes to be grounded. Do you see what it is I'm saying? With the peacock here, there's this display of how you want the world to see you, how you want the world to absorb you, how you want the world to define you, to, to understand you. And that's all well and good, but there's a side that says spirit is seeing you, really, really, truly seeing you, and says that, this facade or this like bravado that you are putting off, it's there, you're, you're feeding the ego and not your source of happiness, your authentic source of happiness. And a part of you guys have been so scared of revealing the aspects within yourself that you think might be too much, is what just came through, that might be not easily digestible. I just heard not everyone is your cup of tea, but yet at the same time, it's like you know that, but there's a part of you that keeps trying to appease people or appease, you know, these visions of things that it is that you have for yourself. And this goes beyond just you. It's your ancestors. It's the things that have already that have already occurred that are lingering. And that's where the punishment is coming from, not by spirit. <sighs> Sorry, guys. I literally thought my phone was on... Do not disturb. Um, and with the tortoise here, this energy of you're too fragmented, so do whatever it takes to get grounded. This means that, actually, I was gonna say something, but spirit is really saying, it's not about, it's the whatever it takes. It's the whatever it takes that's bothering me. And something about being fragmented. What I'm getting is all these little tidbits, all these little things that have already occurred, that have already happened, that you are sitting with, have sat with, and accepted as a reality, as a normal. This is who I this is just who I am. This is just where I've settled. This is where I've this is where I've planted myself. This is where I'm rooted. This is the way that it could be. You're limiting yourself. And you are literally doing whatever it takes to prove it to yourself again and again and again instead of lifting the anchor up and moving forward with what spirit has for you and you're doing it out of a space of ego. Tick tock, tick tock, timing, timing. Wheel of Fortune literally came through with you guys. The time is here now present to just completely unplug from the ego to unplug from your, your perspective and vision of this is what a relationship looks like. This is how I define myself. This is why I am the way that I am and I can't change. This is the way that it is. This is, you know, this has never happened. Look, you guys, the stork and the heart. Do you know what this means? This means that I really want you to receive this. Ah, oh, I want you to receive this. The divine source of love, like I don't mind whatever your belief system is in God or universe or whatever, there is an all loving, totally protective, guidance, like light that guides us for our highest and greatest good. It is unconditionally loving and it is always aware of what you are feeling, what you are thinking, what you are experiencing and there are moments it is always embracing you with forgiveness and understanding and and like consideration like it is always con taking you into consideration and it makes it so sad to see you believing these things about yourself you believing that this is the way that it will be because of what you have seen in these bits and pieces of fragments of things that you have accepted because of what has already occurred and the thing is, is that spirit wants you to receive right now that regardless of what you think it is, regardless of what you are choosing, spirit continues to show up for you in the same way of, with uh, like patience that doesn't even make sense. <laughs> like patience that doesn't make sense. It keeps showing up and says, I'm like, a, I will return to you everything that you 
everything that you put out into the universe, good, bad, evil, positive, negative, whatever, anything that you could ever possibly contribute and put out to the universe, things that you are proud of, things that you are not proud of, things that are toxic or draining or constructive and, and nourishing, I will still return back to you love, unconditional love that is yours. And if you know that of me, and if you know that that is my intention, this is divine speaking this over you and to you right now, then how can you expect that I will give to you anything less than what it is that you deserve when all I want to give you is everything? And this is where the trust fall comes forward. Dwell on what you love. Some of you guys, this card was reversed though. Some of you guys are, are so caught in needing to prove to yourself to your ego that this is it that you won't even allow spirit message divine message your ancestors to come through and speak to you and say listen if you are open to receiving more we'll actually give you more and i know that that freaks you out but it is time and it's time to lift that anchor up ride this storm out with us prepare to be astounded things are not as they appear they choose you. It's time to make a demonstration. Assistance, control, the hungry ghost looks, the hungry ghost. Obsession, scarcity, consciousness, and attachment. These are the things that we have attached ourselves to because we have to feel like we are in control. We have to feel like it makes sense. And the thing is, it's not meant to make sense all the time. It's meant to be miraculous. It's meant to be magical. There are so many things in this world that we don't understand and instead of us accepting it, we just keep trying to prove the, the point and you're just messing yourself up. And then we have the Lady of Lightning. Surprises, shock, total paradigm shift. That's what you should be opening up to right now. Look, you guys, oh my gosh, attraction. Asking yourself, what am I attracted to? And then when you see it, that's when you release and enters in your soulmate, your soul purpose, your soul path, the phoenix rising up from the ashes. I love you guys. I love you guys. Spirit loves you. This message was built from a place of love and light, and it is for you to receive if you're open to receiving it. I invite you to subscribe to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from, and also to the podcast where you can stream from any major podcasting platform that you choose. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.